Hey guys, Lazcast here and welcome to What The Vlog for the 22nd of December 2011. Yes, those of you that are observant will notice that this vlog is in fact going out a day late. That was due to me, well, having massive toothache, really bad. It's all sorted now, I'm feeling on the mend because I'm on antibiotics at the minute. So that pretty much is the reason why this has gone out a day late. Okay, in this vlog guys, I want to talk a bit about SOPA which may, some of you may be familiar with, some of you may not. And I'm also going to give my first impressions of SWOTOR as well. Okay, when it comes to SOPA, this is a new act that is currently trying to be passed through Congress in America. Now, Total Biscuit has done an awesome video on this, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an annotation on, on the screen so you can view that video, and I'm also going to link it in the description below. Okay, so SOPA is basically an act that is currently trying to be pushed through Congress by lobbyists in America. Now, this sort of bill, or law, or whatever you want to call it, is essentially to stop internet piracy across the web. Now, the plans for doing that are to basically implement what's called a national-wide proxy server, which will block certain access to certain sites. Now, it is said that this could actually include YouTube as being one of the sites that could be blocked. So, yeah, this is not good at all. Basically, it means that if you live in the US, you could go onto YouTube.com and you will see website blocked in a big sort of flash message coming up there if this bill is passed through. Now, there is a position to stop this bill from going through. Now, I will link that in the description below, and it is also in the description on Total Biscuits video. Now, you might be thinking, well, I'm not in the US, this isn't gonna affect me if it goes through. Well, it could potentially do so as well, and the reason why is because the US um, is sort of the center point for internet law, for internet law making, and if this does prove that in certain areas where well, piracy has been reduced here and there, that the rest of the world could take it on. And not only that, guys, but you've got to think for growing YouTubers like myself, um, as TGN Network as a whole as well, we're going to lose about, I'd say, 30 to 40 percent of our views if something like this did go through. Because I've just had a look now on my analytics page, and I know that 30 percent of my viewers on this channel are from America. So something we're going to lose those views and you say not to worry about like money or something we potentially want to make a career out of this so that we can bring you guys content it's going to be a lot harder to do that if we're suddenly making 30 percent less revenue so you may see some youtubers quitting that you follow just because of that just because they can't make enough money to pay the bills and such so you could be getting a lot less video content out now i'm actually a little surprised that one of the lobbyist stroke companies that is actually trying to push this bill through is ea themselves is in the company that's that's a little bit of an old one for me and I think this is because um, well two reasons really one the videos do get sorry the videos that the games do get pirated quite a lot but that's normally through torrenting sites and stuff like that and if they really want to do something about it why not just shut those sites down but it's also because I think and this may be me being a bit of conspiracy not reading between the lines a bit much here but when it comes to YouTube YouTube is a great medium for promoting independent games. Now I'm not talking about promotion as in the form of a 30 second advertisement which throws it in your face and everything like that. What I'm talking about there is, say for example, I was to do some Minecraft videos, some of you guys might go and check out Minecraft and go and get it just because you think the game looks cool because I'm playing it and I'm doing commentary on it. Now you can't say that really games like Minecraft, League of Legends and stuff like that would not have had the level of publicity which they have had if it wasn't for YouTube at the end of the day. So that is that is possibly an issue. It means that EA is getting less money because games like that, which are independent, are getting a lot more publicity than what they normally would. And that'll be a real shame if that is the case, is that is one of the reasons why they want to block a website like YouTube. So yeah, this isn't good guys. This is something that could potentially affect us all. So please do sign that petition. The link is in the description below. Okay, right, I'm gonna move on now to sort of my first impressions of SWOTOR, I've been playing quite a lot of it over the past few days. It's really good. Um, I'm surprised. I am really, really surprised. I did not think that I would be enjoying the game as much as I am. I um, did ask you guys what coverage would you like me to bring you on it. And the main vote was, it was very close between a Sith Warrior and a Sith Inquisitor. And I've decided to go with the Sith Inquisitor. And I'm really enjoying it. I've specced into Assassin. And I'm probably going to be doing tanking stroke DPS as a Sith Assassin there. Really good class, really good fun to play, having a lot of fun in the game so far. I've not done any dungeons or questing, dungeons or questing, I haven't done any dungeons or raiding or PvP yet in the game, but I've been doing a lot of questing, the group quests are nice, and I've got to say, the action is really fast paced, it's not like in WoW where, and I am going to make comparisons to WoW here guys, I apologise that some of you don't like me doing that, but 
you're going to compare an MMO to the top MMO at the end of the day. That, that's one of the best ways to sort of go about doing it, in my opinion. Now, the game does feel a lot more fast-paced than WoW. And what I mean by that, guys, is when you're fighting a mob in WoW, it just tends to just stand there and you just tend to sort of hit it. You actually have your, the mobs in this game running around, trying to dodge, get out your way, get out of combat with you, so fight a blaster and all that kind of good stuff. And that really is a big change for me, especially with no auto attack on your character as well. You've got to push your buttons to use your skills constantly, which again is really interesting. Now, I don't know how this is going to work when it comes to raiding and dungeoning. Um, so it's your classic example in WoW, tank is on boss, boss stands there, DPS get behind boss, DPS, DPS him down, tank holds aggro, and boss just stands there. But when you've got something which is a lot more dynamic, where you've got something moving around quite a bit, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of mechanics they've got in there and all that kind of thing, what they're going to do with that and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. It could be a complete failure or it could be something really good. I'll have to see when I get up to that level. And another thing guys is with, with this Sith Assassin, I'm going to make a bit of a comparison here again to WoW. For those of you that are curious, what does it play like? I know people have been doing a lot of comparisons to classes in SWOTOR to WoW. Well, the Sith Inquisitor as a whole, I'd say, plays like a shaman hybrid stroke rogue tank, if that makes sense in any way, shape or form. Well it really does because you've got stealth if you go the assassin route, if you go the other route you can have like loads of spells and feel like a bit like an elemental shaman I'd say, and if you're going like the pure Sith assassin route you get like weapon buffs and then you can use those buffs on people, and you've got a combination of ranged and melee attacks and you've got the roguey stuff as well, it's really interesting. I like the way it's done, I'm really glad that I've picked possibly the most hybrid class in the game I can take as I could go into healer if I wanted to, range DPS, melee DPS or tank because those of you that know me for WoW well will know that I play a shaman, I always have done because I've loved the ability to be a hybrid even though tanking kind of magically disappeared at the, <laughs> at the end of um, vanilla and you couldn't even tank all that well as a shaman anyway but I'm really happy with the suggestions that you guys made of going something with so it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm gonna be bringing you a lot of content in the future on that okay guys i'm gonna wrap this up now with the q a session i've only got one question in, in my inbox here but if you've got anything to ask about swotor at the minute if you haven't got it yet and you're curious i will do my best to answer just send me a message on youtube to my youtube account and i will answer it in the next vlog okay so this one comes in from rafferoni no sorry rafferon 1245 Hey man, yo dude, I have been playing a Frost DK as my DPS and I find it very boring as I have thought about rerolling Enhanced Shaman, is it worth it? Yes, it plays a lot, Enhancement Shamans play a bit differently to DKs. Basically with an Enhanced Shaman you've got a pretty good fun rotation to use in, I'm assuming you're talking about PvE here, and the rotation is actually quite a lot better than that of what I understand of a Frost DK which is about two to three buttons with maybe like one two cooldowns it's, it's a lot more fun you get all your buffs and that if you really want to if you get bored with it you can spec into a ranged dps or you can spec into a healer note my previous comments about being a hybrid class i'd say re possibly re-roll it is worth it enhancement shaman is a great fun class to play but don't bother with pvp in pvp you're just going to get annihilated i have mentioned this before it's not the best class for pvp in my opinion but i hope that answers your question and just try for a few levels get some heirlooms from your dk shove them across your shaman Find how you're enjoying it, go into some dungeons and stuff, play with other people, and I hope that's answered your question. Anyway guys, I'm probably going to be taking a break now um, for the rest of this week and next week as it is Christmas, so I've got to spend time with the family, you know how it is and all that. So if I don't do another video before Christmas guys, um, I hope you all have a really good Christmas. I will be announcing the winner of the race in Naga. And guys, I'll put an annotation up on the screen now if you missed the video on that because I am running a composition for a race Naga. I'll be announcing the winner for that on the 31st of December. So that will be New Year's Eve day. So I'm going to want to try and make someone very happy for the new year. And I'll be running another contest of another race product after that. Okay, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.